huge congratulations, everybody, for making it all the way to the end of this course on Excel 365 for Beginners. I really hope you've enjoyed running through this course as much as I've enjoyed hosting it for you. And I think you'll agree that we've covered so much in this course. And if you were unsure of Excel when you started this journey, hopefully now you feel that you have at least a little bit of confidence when working in Excel. Now, there's not too much else for me to say other than thank you so much for choosing us, but let's just briefly do a quick rundown and recap of everything that we've learned in this course. So we started out in section one with the course introduction where we learnt what Excel 365 is, and I showed you how you can access the online portal. We then jumped into Excel and the real hard work started. I showed you how to launch the application and we did a run through of the interface, contextual menus and ribbons. And I also showed you some useful things like common keyboard shortcuts and how you can customize your quick access toolbar. In section three, we started to take a look at the actual Excel spreadsheet. We saw how we can create spreadsheets based off of templates and all of the different ways that we can work with worksheets. We explored how to save workbooks to OneDrive and the benefits of doing that. And we started to take a look at how we enter basic things into cells, such as text, numbers, and dates. I also showed you how you can utilize custom lists to make data entry a lot quicker. Hi from everyone at Simon Says It. We hope you're enjoying this training lesson. Please like this video to show your support for the channel. If you want to take your learning further, earn a certificate for this course, and gain access to over 200 courses ad-free, click up there and go to simonsaysit.com. Thanks for watching and back to the course. Section four is where we took our first look at Excel formulas. We discussed some basic rules surrounding formulas, and then we saw a demonstration of the big six essential formulas in Excel. We took a look at absolute versus relative referencing and discussed why that is so important. And then we saw a couple of useful utilities that really quicken the process of entering in formulas, such as auto sum and auto fill. In section five, we talked about named ranges. I showed you how you can create named ranges, why they're useful, and how you can use them to make formulas more readable. In section six, we moved on to formatting, a fundamental skill in Excel. I showed you how to apply different number formats and how you can jazz up your spreadsheet by formatting cells, rows, and columns. We looked at find and replace and how to quickly copy formatting using Format Painter. In section seven, we started to explore the wonderful world of Excel tables. I explained to you what an Excel table is and why it's so useful. I showed you how to create a table and how you can use table references in formulas. In section eight, we did some more work on formatting. I showed you how you can do things like align text and numbers in cells, how we can merge cells, and also how we can quickly apply themes and styles. Section nine was all about Excel lists. We saw how to sort and filter lists and how we can do things like add subtotals. I think you'll agree there was quite a lot that we've covered in there. On behalf of myself and the rest of the team, it has been an absolute pleasure hosting this course for you. And we hope to see you again somewhere down the line. But for now, my name is Deb. See you next time. For more related training videos, click over here to watch this popular playlist of free learning resources. To see more videos like this one, click below to subscribe.